slowly make our way back to child's pose. On the way, you'll come through hands and knees. While you're on your hands and knees, you may want to do a few cats. Just let your back go up and down a few times. Now, we're not warmed up muscularly, so these don't have to be deep cats. And after three or four cats, sit back in your heels. There's very different ways to do child's pose. So just for tonight, it's okay to have your knees a little bit apart, especially if you feel that painful pinching at the top of the hips. So you don't always have to have your knees together in child's pose, especially if it's uncomfortable. But have your hands beside your feet, elbows out to the side. Now if that's uncomfortable for your head, you can always rest your head onto your sitting cushion. And we're going to start to work the shoulders again. So from here, bring your hands onto your lower back Interlace the fingers. The more flexible students will have the palms together. But now start to lengthen your arms. As you move the hands away from you, notice how that draws the shoulder blades together. Then keeping the arms nice and long, bring the hands up over your head, move them back and forth and from side to side. Feel that lovely opening through the top of the shoulders, the front of the chest. Again, it doesn't matter what this looks like. Just get to where you can feel there's a challenge here. You're just working through all the shoulder socket area. And this is a bit young like so we're not going to stay here too long. But for maybe about the next 10 seconds, put a little oomph into the arms. Really lengthen here. Remember, this too will end. So as challenging as this might feel, Anicca. So enjoy it while you can. And then slowly lower your hands to the lower back. Enjoy this part. Let your hands fall to the floor. Your shoulders say, thank you. Feel that flood of energy, blood to the shoulder area. Now this is yin yoga, so we're going to try a little test now. We're going to slowly roll up to sitting on our heels. Well, slowly means not fast. If you're already up, you're a yankster. Now, if you have not yet started coming up, that's too slow. You're a yinster. Life is about balance, the yin and the yang. It's okay to be yang sometimes and yin sometimes. But it's just interesting to notice our own tendencies. Now, from here, we're going to slide onto our right buttock. We're going to straighten the left leg and bring the right foot across. This is known as half shoelace. For some of you, this is going to be your pose. Now, again, I invite some people to sit up on a cushion. Now the track one students, you can just stay here. Track two students who have a little bit more flexibility in the hips and this won't bother the knee, bend that left leg and bring that foot in as well. Now a nice way to use a cushion here, if you have one of these foam block, block cushions, is just to rotate at 45 degrees. Then you have a nice line for both legs. Some people actually find this easier not to be sitting on a cushion. So just listen to your own body. Now if the bottom knee doesn't like this, again, straighten that bottom leg. If the top knee complains, you can put a block or some cushion between the thighs. One of the directions we haven't used the neck yet is twisting. So have the opposite hand on the top knee. So your left hand on the right knee, your right hand behind you. Again, try to sit up nice and tall. Feel like you're pushing the crown of the head up. And now as you exhale, start to move your ribs to the back of the room. You glide your chin over the right shoulder. And you start to look to the back of the room. Again, just want to get to where you can feel bit of a stretch here. And now we get to breathe. So as we inhale, we sit up tall. As we exhale, just play the edges. Now it's nice to be able to flex the feet here to keep the knees supported. And the more flexible students are very externally rotating the hips and actually bring the feet a bit more forward. We're working through the hips here at the same time we're working the upper body. We're just letting the hips marinate here. But while this is a hip opener, there are no knee openers in yoga. So you shouldn't be feeling this through the knee. 